suspension? Um, Councilor Daly O'Brien. Yes, I would ask for a suspension to um, um, discuss supporting the um, employees of Demoulis Market Basket. Second. Uh, there's a motion for suspension um, by Councilor Daly O'Brien, seconded by Councilor Ryan. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Councilor Scatamaccia? Yes. Councilor Barrett? Yes. Councilor Masick? Yes. Councilor Ryan? Yes. Councilor Sullivan? Yes. Councilor Daly O'Brien? Yes. Council McGonigal? Yes. Council Page? Yes. President Mitchinson? Yes. And the rules are suspended. Council Daly O'Brien. Thank you, Mr. President. I think um, what we have been um, witness to in the um, ongoing strife between the employees and the business of Demoulis Market Basket has historical proportions. I've never seen um, a private company um, go through this kind of really it's it's a strife it is a real conflict and turmoil that is going on between in the company that has affected the employees but also affect uh, those of us that are their customers and I feel that it's very important <coughs> that we voice our support for the employees who are trying to um, keep their jobs and still provide us with good customer service <coughs> so I don't know how the other councilors feel about it, but I felt that it was important to voice our support of the employees as they go through this. Thank you very much, Councilor. Uh, Councilor Sullivan. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I, too, am glad that this item was uh, put on the agenda, even if under suspension. Um, I go back to Market Basket as a teenager, having worked there for seven years in the dairy department. This was back in the late 70s through 1985. Um, at that time, Market Basket probably had all of 30 or 40 stores, and now they have 75. So they were definitely growing at that time. In fact, um, it was very much a family business then, as it was up until recently. And back then, I have to say, it was probably one of the strongest companies and one of the strongest employers in Haverhill. Um, we went from one store to three stores here in Haverhill. And it's not lost on me that they're the only three major grocery stores that we have here in our city. We have no alternatives. And so today, not only are we uh, asked to support the employees, which I fully do, but we have to figure out what we're going to do for our citizens, our citizens who shop at these market basket stores that are presently empty and that we're presently being asked by the employees not to patron patronize. So what do you do? Um, I thought about this today. and. It took a while, but it came to me that we have a lot of other stores here in Haverhill that can help out. We have Haverhill Beef, where we can get our beef. We have Gulf of Maine Seafood, where we can get our fish. We have a farmer's market every Saturday, and we're fortunate that we're in peak growing season right now. And I would urge all the citizens to take advantage of our local retailers as we <coughs> face this crisis with the employees and the management of Market Basket. Um, this is unprecedented. This is unheralded, as, a, as a Mary Councillor Daly O'Brien has said. There's no point, there's no uh, question that we've never seen anything like this before because we've never seen a company quite like Market Basket, a family owned business that treated their family, their employees, as family, even though for whatever reasons, and we all know what those reasons are actually, they can't get along with each other. This is a battle of two families, a battle of two families that is now having a ripple effect on all of us. And to say the least, it's quite unfair to not only the management and the employees, but the loyal customers, such as myself. I have not been to a market basket since this crisis erupted. I will not go back to a market basket <coughs> until this matter is resolved. I understand there's a board meeting Friday, and I would hope at that board meeting that the two brothers, or the two cousins, <coughs> I should say, figure out a way to make peace because unless they make peace we're going to have some major change take place in that supermarket that I don't think we're all going to want um, or we're going to appreciate down the road. <coughs> I'm stunned that Arthur S. DeMoulis has yet to make a comment about this crisis publicly. At least I haven't heard one. I heard today that the CEO and the CFO, I believe it's James Gooch and Felicia Thornton, made a statement that they fired only those employees who were hurting the business of Market Basket. Well, I can tell you that that is so untrue. 
And I know that because the people that they fired were some of the original leaders in the Market Basket family who were closest to Arthur T. DeMoulis. And these people were loyal to a fault to Arthur T. So I have no problem supporting a letter tonight that speaks to the situation and asks the <coughs> board of directors of Market Basket to do whatever it takes come Friday to resolve this matter, to fill those stores back up, to allow us to shop again at Market Basket. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Uh, Council Ryan. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I'm uh, uh, pleased to join with my uh, colleagues in support of uh, <coughs> Arthur T., uh, who uh, many of us know. I know him very well. I know his dad very well. And he carries the, uh, the same uh, uh, qualities that his dad, uh, Mike DeMoulis, had. And anyone that dealt with him knew what a, what a terrific uh, human being he was. And as both of my colleagues have pointed out, they, he treated everybody in that store like family. He went to their weddings. He went to a, a, there was a funeral. Uh, whatever it was, he showed his, his uh, uh, love and, and compassion for every employee. He demonstrated it every day by doing these kind of things. And uh, I uh, am uh, really disheartened by the activity of the members of the Board of Directors who have taken control and have put uh, their two henchmen in uh, that were mentioned by Tom uh, to ruin these stores. And that's exactly probably one of the best uh, supermarket operations in the country. And these uh, idiots are destroying the store uh, and destroying the lives of people who have been there 50 years, 40 years, and never with a, a blemish to fire them. It's outrageous. And we should, and I, that's why uh, people all over, Senator uh, Feingold from Andover, uh, commend him. He organized all kinds of el state elected officials to uh, speak out strongly on that. And I'm very proud of my colleagues to uh, vote for suspension. And that I'm hoping, Mr. President, that, uh, uh, that we can send a letter as soon as possible to the Board of Directors uh, of the uh, Market Basket Corporation, uh, or whatever they are, I'm not sure exactly, it's a family business, but uh, uh, to tell them that we want Arthur T. restored, we want the stores brought back to the way they were when they serviced the people in, in, in Massachusetts and particularly in the city of Haverhill. Uh, we are, will not, you know, there is not a lot that we can do, it's a private company, but I can tell you that uh, every, every letter they get from a city and town or an elected official, our own mayor joined uh, with uh, Senator Fe uh, Feingold, and I think we should be sending a letter uh, by the city council and the mayor jointly uh, saying that we want Arthur T. brought back and we want all of the people who have been fired uh, reinstated with any loss of pay to be paid and, and, uh, and they should get an award for their courage uh, that they've shown in this uh, very difficult time. So with that, Mr. President, uh, I'll uh, yield, and hopefully we can have a letter that will ask those things very directly of the board. Thank you, uh, Counselor. Uh, it's true that uh, Mayor Ferentini uh, has already come out strong uh, in support of the boycott. Uh, personally, I admire uh, the employees at Market Basket. Uh, who are currently, as uh, Councillor Daly O'Brien uh, mentioned, blazing a trail by speaking out publicly about their own corporation at great risk to their livelihoods. So I support them uh, very strongly um, on that basis alone. Um, and now we'll go for a, uh, a motion uh, to Councillor Daly O'Brien. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to make a motion that we. Um send a letter to the president <coughs> of the board, the board of directors, the CFO, and the CEO, including, I would say, almost all the um, ideas that the different counselors have mentioned. I think that we've said it um, the best that it could be said. This, to me, is a historic labor moment. <coughs> and I feel like we are witnesses to something that, yes, we have never seen before. Um, and I, I, this is national news. This is national news, what's happening. And 
the other my other thought is too that I think we should encourage our um, economic development um, department to um, reach out to some other stores such as Hannaford's or Price Chopper Trader and Joe's. Trader Joe's, um, Whole Foods, and see if we could in at this time entice someone else because we are a city who is being held hostage without any other grocery store to go to. And, you know, when I think of how many people walk to a Demoulis Market Basket, that they live within that area they can walk to, that may not have any other kinds of transportation, that's what, this is what really bothers me. There's a lot of people in the city that need to use taxis to go to these grocery stores. They're going to have to go out of town. And it's going to cost a lot more money than the agreements we've had with the taxi companies here in Haverhill for them to go uh, back and forth to a grocery store. So I, I, this is a real crisis for our city, and I think it's, an, it's a wonderful opportunity for economic development to look at somebody else. But in the meantime, I do want um, to um, have us send that letter. There's a motion by Councilor Daly O'Brien. Second. And a second uh, by Councilor uh, Ryan. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Councilor Scatamaccia? No. Councilor Barrett? Yes. Councilor Masick? No. Councilor Ryan? Yes. Councilor Sullivan? Yes. Councilor Daly O'Brien? Yes. Councilor McGonigal? No. Councilor LePage? Yes. Co uh, President Mitchinson? Yes. And that passes. Six yeas. No. 